Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and of course today's video we're going to be up against Vander Vader. Long Crusade map, let's see. Oh, 80% win rate. Well, anyway. Yep, this map is disgusting. Normally I don't play this map since of course it's an Avia farm or space farmville for the Confederation. Now of course, before we start, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell icon to be notified of all coming... Well, all contests coming out from my channel. Let's go. Now, there's actually two spawn spawn points here for uh, for this map. Uh, you can either spawn right here, or right here, or right here. Although, if it's gonna be PvP. The enemy will spawn in a way that it's diagonally uh, um, opposite of you, okay? So, I'm going to have to skip as I try to gather those containers. Okay. Wasp, Dragonfly, Armadillo, Special Vehicle Factory. Now, I was trying to produce all of them to gather this container, but he already has a ton of assault with a max skill rank of 20. Obviously, he can capture that container fast thanks to his skill rank. I only managed to capture one container and that's not really good for me since, well, I you made a huge investment into capturing that container but did not end up getting, the, uh, getting it. So that's actually bad. Alright, so additional um, supply centers here in my end. Going HQ level 4. Porcupines, porcupines, I'm, I'm expecting him to go the the classic Thor, Vertex, um, Seraphim, Cyclone, shenanigans along with the Zeus Shield Solaris. Okay, so more Jaguars here, preparing myself for that Leviathan. Another special vehicle factory as I'm expecting a lot of aviation from him. Okay. Additional fact or... Uh, uh, Power plant, level 3 special vehicle factory. Gonna have to produce that uh, Leviathan now. And another super container appeared right there. So I'm gonna have to try and use my initial army against, uh, you know, to grab that. Oh, he already got like two cyclones in the uh, Sierra Pima. However, the number of those hammers are actually insane. So I was thinking, what is this guy doing? Maybe he's spamming hammers or whatever. But I did not really confirm that until I saw a bunch of hammers in the porcupine, or no, in the typhoon along with the shield. So it's the classic hammer, shield, typhoon, heroes, classic combination shenanigans along with a little bit of a cyclone there. Okay, and so this is not really looking good for me. As you guys can see already again, grab that super container. And uh, he's, uh, I don't know, man. He's pushing me back with just cheap units. Camille already popped out here. I'm going to have to use this opportunity to attack. However, that Cerberus is there. And I'm going to have to try and attack with the, with the uh, Leviathan. However, there's like plenty of anti-air along with the Seraphim that doesn't really activate the uh, Leviathan passive. Okay, so I barely have any armies left at this point, and he destroyed majority of them because he is confed, and I'm resistance. Okay, so he fell back, thinking that I have a ton. Now, yeah, I just actually confirmed that hammer production with just one hidden infantry right around here. Four vehicle factory hammers. Now, I don't really have anything good against it instead of uh, just one Jaguar. And I got like barracks here. You may have noticed I added more barracks into the mix. I placed the dragonfly around here as I actually saw that there's like a cyclone seraphim in this location. Okay, fast forward. Now I'm gonna have to try and spam that grinny deer and a ton of hammer as expected. However, doing this micro requires a little bit of timing and patience since the uh, shield is actually slower than the hammer itself so the tendency if you just march on forward will be the shield will be at the back and the hammers will be not covered now there's like a bunch of typhoon here from his end i'm gonna have to retreat 
but those typhoons that range on an anti-air raid boost is insane since typhoons by default when siege does have more range than a porcupine. Solaris, Cerberus, Seraphim is here and I only have this for an army. Let's go. Bam. I'm gonna have to try and get rid of that Seraphim while it's not moving around. There you go. Now, if you may have noticed, I did put my army at the back of those buildings. If you, if you, if you, I mean, if you may have noticed, because that prevents him from just lounging forward and attacking. And he doesn't really know how much uh, unit or how many units I have inside that fog. So but we better want to keep it that way. Continue. Special vehicle factory has been destroyed. My cover has been destroyed. That's not really good. Okay, more dragonflies here in Mayanda. While those typhoons are at the back of his army, outside the range of the typhoons, since he can only use two boosts, or one boost at a time, it's either going to be air raid or common attack or vehicle attack. So if he used air raid, his army composition will, will deal less damage and less range with the gold, of course. But he'll have gain more damage reduction against aviation right mm, smart okay now here we go so again he's using an air raid this time around and he'll demolish most of my dragonflies however most of his embers has been completely obliterated by my units that are on an attack boost okay he retreated here to replenish that hammer army. Additional supply center here as I just got destroyed. You know, that one destroyed over there. And that Solaris actually destroyed another supply center. And he's again trying to lay siege on my base. Additional barracks is here to act as a wall preventing those hammers from coming inside my base. And then of course in to add more uh, grenadier production. Here we go again. He's trying to somewhat rampant here. Now, if you have if you have noticed, I also have mammoths at the back that provides additional firepower in the terms of attacking from afar. That can be seen. Okay, he, he's now on an air raid boost. Okay, there you go. Mammoth destroyed that typhoon. Okay, I'm gonna have to retreat. As I don't want to lose my dragonflies. Now, since the typhoons are here, it's not really covered by those hammers. I'm going to have to move forward. Now, as we all know, typhoons that are on uh, march mode are not really that good. Acid strike. Bomb. There you go. Leaving those typhoons behind. Bam. And I'm going to have to take care of those typhoons as many as I can while the hammers are not around. Now keep in mind that as a confederation player, if you see a ton of grenadiers at the front lines, it'll prevent you from moving at the at the place where the location of the chameleon and the jaguars are, along with the porcupines, since the, the grenadiers are there as a wall or as an obstacle. There you go. Now if you may have noticed, I only have like what? Three, six jaguars here and three chameleons and some porcupine and the rest are grenadiers and dragonfly yep and now I'm chasing after his uh, armadillo no this hammer shield spamming I'm gonna have to chase him all the way to back to his base but oh he's actually preparing for that flame assault now that proves to be very very useful against this grenadier army composition that I got and ooh, it's clumped up solid, hit in a straight line. I'm going to have to retreat and take my losses. He added more Cyclones to defend that Seraphim. Um, so that those unmicrode porcupines of mine will not be attacking the Seraphim itself. As you can see, it's ignoring the Seraphim. Even though the Seraphim is in range. I specifically ordered my uh, Leviathan to attack the Seraphim while retreating. There you go. Now I'm going to have to position right here on this narrow ridge 
to increase my chances of winning an engagement. Additional Dragonfly Wasp here on my end. This will prompt him to use more Typhoons, which means that he'll have less on the ground. Then I can transition myself into having more ground army composition. He's moving right around here. Recovery boost. Another engagement. Although he has like a beholder, not really a good use. Wow, so anything that goes within that uh, radius will be affected. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, narrow ridge here, a bunch of hammers, flame assaults, and so on shenanigans. Gonna have to retreat. Bam! That beholder took a brunt, huge brunt of damage. Mammoth's attacking the, the hammers. And now all of a sudden... I got like four jaggers at the back in the at the back of the mammoths there. Okay, recovery boost again. So actually a back and forth game, picking up hammer after hammer. And then of course using an air raid boost against that seraphim. Okay, my porcupine's been destroyed and that Solaris is way out of position, not being covered by the shield. All right now, so I'm gonna have to retreat as most of my chameleons are almost out of energy. I'm just switching between chameleon to chameleon with the most energy regenerated. And ta-da! Okay, that that therapy micro was not on point. Okay, he's actually using this um this chance to attack me as it is the perfect time to do so. However, he actually moved from this side. Which means I can flank his army while it's moving. And so, of course, there's an evident lack of Typhoon here. He only has one Typhoon. A Typhoon is not as fast as a hammer. And now I'm going to have to use this opportunity to use the Dragonfly to kill or destroy that Solaris. So I'm going to have to retreat. And there you go. Okay, there's already oh a bunch of typhoons at the back. I'm gonna have to retreat. And one typhoon exposed. Wow, well, those typhoons are really powerful, man. Seriously. Okay. And again, he got another super container. I don't know how many super containers he already got this time around. But it seems like he has unlimited <laughs> resources thanks to that super container. Okay, now. And so, I have like a scout right here to prevent him from any doing any damage here in my end. Oh, and I saw a heavy assault and I used a scouting boost and I saw those hammers are around here. And so I'm going to have to return as I'm way out of position. And here we go. I got like my newly produced dragonfly to act as a meat bag here and destroy as many things as I can. And here we go. With another engagement here. Solid hit. Now, if you may have noticed, I'm using the mammoth and attacking those units that are badly bruised up. There you go. Wasp already appeared. Acid strike. Mammoths again attacking those clumped up units that are that has been affected by the acid outside the range of that Solaris. And so he doesn't he no longer have any uh, hammers here to cover against those uh, stuff. So I'm going to have to use this opportunity to attack those typhoons that are retreating.
And so I managed to destroy all those typhoons except for the shield. There you go. Fast forward by a bit here. I'm actually literally chasing him around and taking the fight to his end of the base. To the end of his base or close to him. Oh, here we go again. Another clumped up army. Leave a wasp acid strike hitting the uh, middle. And then, of course, the nuclear. Oh, and that beholder is very, very annoying. Bam! Okay, multiple units has been destroyed on his end. And uh, again, I got like a porcupine here and so on. Oh, that chameleon! <laughs> Don't get close. Now, if you may have noticed, I'm using the mammoths to fire at that Solaris from afar. And along with the jaguars. And then the green deers will just attack the rest. Okay, Solaris has been destroyed as it is outside the re uh, radius of the shield. Those Zeus are badly bruised up using the acid strike. And then, of course, laying waste on those Zeus. Again. Dragonfly Grenadiers here are to provide additional firepower and as a meat bag and act as a wall. Oh, and I was not expecting that Seraphim to attack there. Where my porcupines is obstructed by this forest. I tried my best here to defend my uh, Leviathan with the porcupines. However, this obstruction is proving really, really difficult. Now that Seraphim will go away. Typhoon's around here. I'm going to have to lay waste on those. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Dead. Very nice. And so, as I saw his base, I'm going to have to destroy that X facility. Preventing him from building or reproducing those heroes as they are really a big threat to my army Since I don't have both the wasp and the leviathan at my disposal at the moment Now again mammoths are now going to be used to attack that X facility from afar And then I'll take my losses here and use the jaguars to increase the damage taken by that X facility Oh, and keep in mind, he already at like HQ level 5, while I'm still at HQ level 4. Okay, X facility is out for the count. And then I'm going to have to retreat, as the number of those Zeus are popping up. Now, if you may have noticed, I'm actually attacking the power plants at this point with my mammoths, since the power plants prevent him from developing his base further like that of a space strike and so on because it will power unpower those buildings he will be forced to use an emergency measure which means that his units uh all of his units will take uh or will deal less damage as the emergency boost does not increase the damage by the uh you know by, by uh by anything it only increases the the uh, defenses and electricity or power that you can gain. Armor of buildings, rather. And so I'm using this opportunity to use those grenadiers and attack, uh, you know, attack another building. And then the mammoths just to attack something else. There you go. He's still not giving up here. But it's clear as day as to who will win this battle. Just imagine the, the number of those factories, dude, is insane. Ooh, that HQ. Okay, HQ is gone. Now, I don't really see any point here of him coming back to this game since that HQ is valuable. You can use an HQ reserve, however, it only goes up until HQ level 3 and you'll have to respend those resources spent to go HQ level 4 and level 5. Now, more reinforcement here from me and I don't think 
he can do much else in this battle. So yes, GG. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video of combining dragonflies and infantry along with JCP and mammoth meta along with the heroes, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and leave a comment down below uh, the description or the comment section. What are your thoughts into this video? Also, don't forget to check my previous videos as they contain tips, tricks that can help you win a battle. Likewise, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Bye!